question. Andrew says, I have a cross-force migration to perform. It's a little complex, though, and that I need to leave the source AD intact while also migrating everything to the destination for us. Long story short, too late, Andrew. Uh, it's a company split. The problem is that uh, the source is server 2016 and the destination is 2019. ADMT uh, seems a bit uh, risky. Can anyone uh, suggest a guide or a commercial software that will handle this scenario? Thanks. Well, I so think... I know that there, there are third party solutions that are available. That was yeah. how I would say that. I, I consider the, the details he's throwing out there largely distractions or red herrings. I mean, you're just trying to move data across selective set. I assume that's part of this uh, uh, separation. And, you know, moving the data or copying the data across is not going to harm his 2016 environment or the domain. Um, it really just comes down to go demo a bunch of, you know, third party migration tools and find one that you like that'll work for you that you can afford. Yeah. There you go. Is that better, Christian? Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, just, that's all that's all I was gonna say is I, I would definitely um I mean first of all, you know, when anybody's migrating anything more than something that they can use the move tool for, um, especially if they're doing cross domains, cross tenons, you know, anything you have to plan mapping for. Number one, I always recommend you at least uh, engage a consultant to help you answer questions um, just to make sure you're not going to lose data um, on the way or ca come up with something that's going to cause a big gap in the migration. Um, but second of all, um, yeah, plenty of third party migration tools out there that can um, pick up that data in its entirety and and take whatever you need so that you get to the other side and you're not missing anything and it works the way it should and it maps to the users the way it should and your permissions don't go anywhere, things like that. You know, there's something that I think is a sound advice out there too. If they're, you're, like you've talked about, you're working with a, a, a partner, there are certainly there are people out there that do this for a living day in, day out and can provide a lot of advice. Microsoft also uh, offers fast track services as part of that. Like if you've been through that, if you don't need the basics trainings of what's available, if you already know that your scenario is beyond what the free tools, what the mover tool that Microsoft provides can, can handle. So I know on our services side, um, the majority of our migration customers are failed mover migrations. It's more complex. They need something more than that. But another thing is that you get advisory services part of Fast Track, and that's something that Microsoft actually covers the cost of. So you can go take a look at Microsoft Fast Track or work with the Fast Track partner that does migrations as well. Uh, and get those advisory services can actually you know help lead you down the right path and make sure that you're you know kind of optimizing. Uh, your project, but yeah. That was your gig a while ago, right, Neil? It was, yeah. So for the, um, you know, if this, if I'm trying to dig into, kind of read between the lines on the questions, whether it's a, an online migration we're talking about here. And um, for online migration, certainly Fast Track can help, no question at all. Well, that's, um, I guess not that's with fast, I... Not with SharePoint, though, unfortunately. We don't do that. Oh, anymore. is that just, okay. That's what I was yeah. kind of wondering. I'm if it's on-prem. Sure only covers going to online in this still. Correct. Sense. It yeah. does. Yep. Yeah, we do. We do. The uh, scenario here is, like um, we mentioned, there's two things, right? They're splitting an AD um, by the look of it. They've got to keep the existing one intact, and they're going to split to a destination, so they need to somehow replicate that, whether they can just take some domain controllers from one and split it. But it's a new forest. So the AD migration tool that they're referring to there, you know, it's is... Yeah, this is a bit risky, um, but it does work, right? You may just need some testing. But as you already said, there's other tools that can do it as well. The second portion, which looks like it's a, if it's a SharePoint migration from server 2016 to 2019, that's documented to help. Some great tools out there, as we've already alluded to, but that process is very well documented. The underlying complexity is in the identity management piece. You know, there's a great piece of PowerShell, Move SP user, which works exceptionally well, but you've got to script it and process it and make sure all the identities are mapped properly but it's you know everything's everything's there it's just a case of going through the process and testing it yeah don't try it for real the first time with your production <laughs> environment really <laughs> set yourself up with a test server you know kick the tires a little 
Yeah, so many of this, and I know, like, we're trying to push uh, third-party services around this, but, uh, you know, you you really need to weigh the options. Like, you might have the technical ability to go in this, but be new to the migration world. What is your that opportunity cost of your time and the effort and the risks associated with it versus go and bring somebody in who does this day in, day out? I'm just saying. Well, ha- Hashtag, I'm just saying. <laughs> Christian, we were talking about the gray hairs earlier. Are those some of those from you that you're uh, willing yeah. to share? Been, <laughs> I know I've I been have. away from migration for a long, like directly involved for a long time. Like, but yes, that's when I started to go gray. Yeah. Sean had thicker, fuller hair than I did when he got into migrations. I'd, <laughs> I'd venture a guess to say Norm did too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I love migrations. I think it's making me younger. Take that wig there off. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I love migrations, but again, I learn something new from each one. And and if it's your first one, I 100% agree. I even for myself, I realize is it worth my you know everything's a trade off of time or money, and frustration <laughs> in this case too. And sometimes it it's cost you less in the end to have somebody do it for you that has the skills and the experience. Yeah, it may cost you less in the end, but don't take it in the end. If you know what yeah, I'm saying. My, my, <laughs> my gray hair came from, my gray uh, hair came from Office yeah. 365 and SPOD migration. So, yeah, fun and games. I always try to avoid taking it in the end, Sean. So, yeah. <laughs> I knew I liked you. <laughs>